Deep in the semi-arid plains between Makueni and Kitui counties, a new giant is rising, a structure that's been years in the making. Billions in investment and endless in promises. This is Tuake Multipurpose Dam, one of Kenya's most ambitious water infrastructure projects designed to transform the face of the lower eastern region forever. The Tuake Dam sits strategically at the confluence of two major rivers, the Thuake and the Athi. It's not just a dam, it's a multi-purpose lifeline built to store over 688 million cubic meters of water, enough to serve communities, farms, and industries across several counties. Funded jointly by the Kenyan government and the African Development Bank, this major project is being executed in four distinct phases. Phase 1, construction of the main dam wall. Phase 2, a hydropower plant capable of generating up to 20 megawatts of clean electricity. Phase 3, a large-scale water supply system to deliver 150 cubic meters of treated water per day. And phase 4, an irrigation scheme covering over 100,000 acres of farmland, breathing new life into the dry lands of Makweni and Kitui. Now, fast forward to 2025, after years of challenges, from funding delays to technical setbacks, the Thuake Dam stands 94% complete. The massive embankment which forms the heart of the dam is now fully filled and undergoing final settlement. Concrete works along the upstream phase have begun, paving the way for one of the most anticipated milestones, the impounding of the reservoir. According to the recent reports from the Ministry of Water, that moment is fast approaching. Once the dam begins to fill, it will, re it will mark the beginning of a new era, an era where water scarcity in this region might finally become a story of the past. For decades, residents of Makwen and Kitui have struggled with erratic rainfall and unreliable water sources. Rivers dry up, boreholes fail, and drought devastates both homes and farms. But with Thuake, that's about to change. Once operational, the dam will supply clean, reliable water to over 1.3 million people, stretching its benefits to Machakos County and even growing Konsa Technopolis. But Thuake isn't just about water. As two, the hydropower component will produce 20 megawatts of electricity, enough to power local industries, schools, hospitals, and thousands of homes. And phase four, the irrigation scheme is set to turn what was once dry scum scumberland into a large productive agricultural belt. Imagine thriving farms, greenhouses, and agro industries flourishing in what was once one of Kenya's driest regions. That's the dream driving this project forward. But of course, it hasn't been a smooth ride. The project has faced numerous delays. Initially set for completion in 2022, then 2024 and now extended into 2025, financial bottlenecks, contractor payment delays, and even the pandemic slowed progress. At this time, the project risks stalling altogether. However, renewed government focus and the intervention of the African Development Bank helped bring it back on track. Recently, Water Cabinet Secretary Alice Wahome and other officials reaffirmed that the government remains fully committed to completing the dam and ensuring that every phase serves the purpose it was designed for, from power to water to food security. Today, engineers on site are finalizing the embankment, ceiling joints, and preparing for the next rainy season when the dam will begin to hold water. When that happens, it will not only be a triumph to engineering, but also a powerful symbol of resilience, patience, and hope for millions across Kenya's lower eastern region. Yet, challenges still loom. Environmental experts continue to warn about pollution from the Athi River Basin, which could affect water quality. Others raise concerns about land compensation and the need for proper resettlement for affected families. But all stakeholders from the National Land Commission to local leaders are working to resolve these issues before full operational begins. If all goes to plan, Thuake Dam will begin its first impoundment phase by mid-2026. 
and when it does it will not just fill up with water it will fill up with dreams dreams of farmers finally irrigating their crops all the year round dreams of families accessing clean tap water without walking for miles dreams of young people finding jobs in new industries powered by the workers energy and water supply it's a story of transformation a story of how patience vision and determination can turn drought stick and land into thriving ecosystem of life and productivity as the final touches continues and the dam prepares to awaken one thing is certain Thuake will not just change the map of East, eastern kenya it will change lives for generations to come thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed kindly consider subscribing and please leave a comment i will see you in the next coming video